Hi everybody. Um, thought I'd record a video. I was just sending my folks some messages from me showing the garden and whatnot, and it felt like um, well, it just felt like there was <laughs> there was a lot more alive, and some of you people in my world that are not my parents might want to know about it too. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take you around a little bit to the garden that uh, that I've learned to be very proud of. Uh, Diana has um, been teaching some classes and I've been holding the, the camera for her to stream it on Zoom. And uh, I have to say, like, I'm, I'm really impressed with Diana's knowledge of gardening. Um, and it's not really news to me, but becoming more intimate with the content of what she's sharing and the insights that she shares. Here's one that came up uh, when she was uh, demonstrating the weeding process of a bed. And she said that um, weeds are our tools in our beds and that we don't always just want to remove them and, and scoop them out. Sometimes you just want to cut the tops off and leave the root in there because the root creates all kinds of microbiome in the soil that helps um, keep the soil vibrant. And I, I just thought that was a beautiful metaphor for what's going on in the world right now around, um, you know, the challenges that we're facing and how we might want to weed those. We might want to, like, um, instead of grieving the loss of something, we, we might want to quickly move on. And, uh, you know, it's kind of a, the state of denial uh, in, in the grieving process. So um, here are the beds, and these are all the community beds. Uh, it was actually this spot no it was this spot they've since cultivated this particular bed because she's got volunteer crews that she's bringing in here and they're saving it, staying at a healthy distance from each other but this was the first one that we did and it was a, a double dug bed that she demonstrated the whole double digging process which um i haven't been lifting weights in about four weeks now and i think one of the things that she and i talked about was getting me to double dig some so that i can get some exercise so here's the, the compost pile, and um, it's pretty cool. It's actually a, an interesting metaphor. Again, you work the outside edges, right? So the, you can see how the outside edges are mounded. They're, they're higher because the, the center is going to fall and decompose, and you don't want a mound. You want a, kind of a square. So um, here's what it looks like when it's finished, and you can see how nice that's going to compost rather than um, having, you know, just a, like a mountain that is um, kind of rounded, it, it's more like a, you know, it's more like a square. Um, and you can still see the divot that's inside there. Pretty cool stuff. Um, even down to the way that she talked about buying tools and, um, and getting the right tools for the job. And even if you spend a little bit more money on it, um, that that's important. And then even where to source the tools, like, um, like this one in particular is probably the most important. This is a fork spade. Um, I don't think it's called a fork spade, but it's a, it's a fork. And it's really nice and sturdy and it's got this long neck. I mean, she's the master. I'm just, uh, I'm just the, the guy that holds the camera and does occasional um, help around the grunt work in the garden. So pretty cool stuff. Um, <laughs> look at this, I love that. It might be backwards in your view, but it says let it grow. Um, so yeah, so there's a lot, of, a lot of dynamic experiences going on, and I'm, I'm feeling every one of them this morning. I got into some grieving, and it's, there's a mix of like global grieving and personal grieving that are all happening at once. Um, so I'm spending some effort to get a little bit more clear about what... Um, what what that grieving process needs to look like for me um, in all of the the realms and the, the global scale um, I noticed that we hit 1 million people have been um, accurately diagnosed or whatever with, with COVID and um, uh, so there's there's that piece but then there's also like this weekend uh, the family and I we were supposed to be flying to Colorado and we're not doing that, and so grieving the grieving the loss of of that trip, um, grieving the loss of of freedom to be um, connected physically with other people. I just had a 
a lovely dialogue with a very good friend um, where we were talking about, um, well, they, well, they said that their schedule prior to quarantine was spent going out and being in physical spaces, different physical spaces, um, multiple times a day, you know, four or five different physical spaces a day, not just the physical contact with the people that are there, but, but that actual, you know, physical space that changes the way we see the world is so important. Um, and not to be overlooked, like that's, that's something to grieve. That's something to let go of. Um, it will, it will be changed and it will be changed potentially forever. I don't think that we're making a, a transition back to what was normal. I think that we are going to be redefining a new normal. Um, and that's, it's going to be different. It's, it's just going to be different. Um, and we, we all are going to be beginners at it. So there's a lot of content around being beginners and um, as, a, as a gamer, it's something that I, I love about gaming uh, because it, I think gamers are some of the best at, um, at being beginners, learning new things because we don't mind failing. In fact, failure is how gamers learn, right? We, we try a thing, it doesn't work. Uh, we don't mind. We turn right back around. We have another life or we have another token or, or we hit play again. And it might be frustrating in a moment, but um, we quickly move past that frustration because gamers are optimistic. Um, they're optimistic in the sense that we believe that our skill, that our actions can improve the situation, that we can get further in the game, that we can beat that boss and, and I, I just think that that's really important right now, that we, we don't give up, that we keep carrying on. Um, we do our best, we talk about it, we connect with people who can help us see clearer. I also love that gamers, um, that, that when gamers bump into the bigger boss, the bigger challenge, the more complicated situation, it's, it's actually a good thing. That says that they're going the right way. That says that they're getting further, that we, We've leveled up, and leveling up means harder minions, harder bosses, uh, more complicated magic. It means all the things that we're, we're confronted with right now, and so if we're in this as a game, if life's a game, then we've all leveled up, even if we don't want to, um, and things are going to get harder. Grinding is harder. So I say lean into it. I say embrace the chaos. Um, uh, and don't do it alone, right? I'm here. Uh, find somebody who, who will game with you, who will view the world with you as a, as a game board, and uh, keep keep working at it, right? Stay optimistic. Stay stay focused on what you can do. What you what what part of your actions can improve the situation? <sighs> Thanks for listening. <laughs> There's my neighbor's dog, always saying hello. So I say to you, hello. I see you. <laughs> Enjoy the stillness. Ciao.